Hi, I'm Jason from Woody's Auto Sales here to show you this 2011 Mazda 3. It is the hatchback. It is the 2.5 Sport Edition. It's got the uh, driving lights up front. It's got the bigger alloy wheels. It's got tires that are almost new all the way around. It's the, called the Velocity Red uh, color. It's got it's red, kind of a bright uh, medium. I mean, it's a darker red. It's not like a bright, bright red, but it's a uh, it's still pretty bright and it's got a pearl to it so it's got a lot of uh, gold flake in it. it really pops in the sun I've got it kind of in the shade right now so that we get we don't get any glare from that sun but it's gorgeous when you see it when that sunlight hits it body and paint are excellent I just want to do a little walk around here to kind of show you the the body and the paint and gaps and stuff front is all like new because it is new I just repainted that front and I'll go over the damage on this car in just a second with you uh, windshield is good it does have one little star that's been filled uh, right here on the passenger side right there so there's one little bullet star right there but other than that the glass is nice it doesn't have any like excessive chipping or you know anything like that on it it's real clear so um, it's not worth putting a windshield in yet for that and it has been filled so it won't spread anything on you when it's, as it's getting colder here Everything works on this car. The air conditioning works great. The heater works great. Um, it's the uh, it's a it's a five speed. Excuse me. It's a six speed manual transmission. It does have all the uh, goodies on the audio, the uh, USB port in, auxiliary uh, in for your media. It has all the controls and the steering wheel for that radio, uh, cruise control, etc. It does have Bluetooth, which is really nice. So hands free calling, traction control. It does have power windows, locks, and mirrors. It does have a remote entry, so it's got the key fob uh, with a factory alarm. Also, it's not been smoked in ever. It's really clean in here. Uh, the seats are in great shape. They don't show hardly any signs of wear. Uh, passenger seat, as you can see, is really good as well. And the carpets are are nice. I've got a little bit of gravel there off my off my shoes, but the carpets are really nice. This back, especially. I mean it. It's in great shape. <clears throat> the uh, car has a full set of floor mats. They're just in the trunk. I'll go ahead and pop this for you. Show you the cargo area there. So there's all the mats. Got lots of room in the back for cargo. And like I said, it does have the bigger 2.5 liter engine. It, uh, it's just a real sharp little car. Everything works nice, and now let's get down to the damage and what we did to it. So it was hit in the front when we got it. <clears throat> Body shop had taken apart some of the front already to assess the damage. Uh, we bought it from the insurance company from an auction uh, that the insurance company has. And so we replaced this front bumper and the grill right here. Both headlights, uh, the passenger side fog light, driver's one is the original. Uh, we replaced the hood and that fender over there on the driver's side sorry i'm pointing on that side so the the driver's side fender we replaced and then i blended my paint into that door that's open right there and blended it into this panel here this fender over here next to the headlight so that you can't tell any difference it's a really good match uh, it's, it's you wouldn't be able to tell i've kind of pride myself on that paint work there so as you can see down the side of the car everything matches up real nice lines up real nice so, uh, and we stand behind that work. We did have to, this car didn't have any mechanical damage. Let me pop this hood real quick and kind of show you what we had to do underneath. There wasn't any mechanical damage to it, um, or structural either for that matter. So, um, so the frame's not bent, wasn't bent. The engine wasn't damaged in any way. It did have, so this, this piece that you're looking at right now is what's called the radiator support. And the hood latch is new and everything. This was all damaged. Um, underneath this radiator support is where your radiator, air conditioning, condenser, and cooling fan are. They were damaged, so those are all new pieces. This uh, hood prop rod there is also new. Um, and then that air box got a crack in it also. So when this bumper came back, it hit that air box and cracked it. So that's new as well. Um, but like mechanically down here, like that's your throttle called your throttle body or throttle positioning sensor it wasn't hurt or touched none of this um, stuff that you're seeing here now was touched uh, it was uh, it's it's no no airbags went off in this car <clears throat> it's an awesome little car so it wasn't damaged very bad it wasn't anything that was that was mechanical it was all cosmetic 
but it does add up. These these bumpers uh, are like a six-piece bumper. That grill has all this kind of this uh, bracketry behind it that holds it up into their bumper, and and it all gets expensive. Um, but uh, we were we replaced it all with with Mazda parts. This grill and everything is Mazda. Um, and everything is the way that it should be. Everything lines up real nice. It um, tracks down the road perfect. Like I said, it was not hit on the suspension, so nothing was damaged that way. The alignment's still perfect. The tires, like I said, are almost new. Um, it drives out real nice and smooth. The five, or the six speed, rather, shifts real nice and smooth as well. Gets great economy uh, due to the stick, and you are able to control your own shift points and whatnot. It's a great little Mazda. It's uh, fun to drive. Real good looking. If this is something that you're interested in, please come by and take a look at this one. You won't be disappointed. Thanks for looking. Have a nice day.